Alright, I have the uh, Barnes & Noble nut color here. It's a boring thing. Just reads books. Unspecial. But, it is now a full-blown Android tablet. Which I'll show you. Turn it on. Sale folks. And it says read forever. I think the regular stock is touch the future of reading. The boot up takes a little bit, but it's all good then. So you can see down there. It's Android loading. Or just Android, but it's loading. Get the awesome boot logo for Sanogen Mod 7, which is by far the best uh Gingerbread ROM out right now. It's fastest, it's pretty stable. The uh, processor in this nook is the same as the uh, Droid X and Droid 2, it's at 800 megahertz. So it's not super fast, but it's it's quite fast for what's on it. We have the Android screen, it's all loading up. Got my super clock on top there, of course. Beautiful widgets. Um, quick change the background here, that way you can see everything a little better. I got this. It's the same old stuff, just tap and hold. And you'll get your little focus in. You can kind of see it, it's got wallpaper. And we'll just do this. Okay. See everything. Flip through. You can add widgets, and then you have uh, your launchers down here. And instead of, since no color doesn't have hard buttons, you have your menu, back, search, and then this one's actually pretty cool. If you tap on that, if you'll focus in. Microsoft Live Cam, don't ever get one of these. They focus stupidly, but in here you can turn on the volume, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. And then uh, the notification bar is on the bottom. Set of the top where it normally is, which is pretty cool. And then there's your battery, and I got the Wi-Fi on, and I have the sound off. But you can just use the volume rockers. Turn the sound back up. Um, you still have access to the market, of course. And this does have. You can flip like that if you want. Uh, the screen doesn't look like this in real life. It's just the uh, Microsoft Live Cam recording. So there's no lines or anything like you see. But uh, you can get any app you want. The only problem right now is uh, it's still updating, I guess, with uh, the ROM. Is when you go to purchase an item or an app it will uh, force close on you so if you have another android device or a computer you can go to the android market website purchase it there and then you can just install it like normal on here but since everyone wants to see the best app in the world you can see that angry bird right there boom ah. angry birds and yeah you can see the line still but doesn't happen in real life at all. Mm. Okay. So that works awesomely. Just sweet, and then just for your home button, just hit this N. I'll bring it back. Um, 
And basically, instead of just reading books, you can do anything an Android tablet can do for $250 instead of buying like the Samsung Galaxy tab without a data plan's 400 bucks still. I mean, you save money there, and this can do the same exact stuff. And then, uh, if you have another Android device, there's called a, it's a Nook Bluetooth Tether app. And, uh, basically, you just pair them together, and it's that little T down there, you tap that, and it will connect. Like, I have a Droid X, and it will connect to that, no problem, so I can get the internet. I'll just use the Wi-Fi. Um, it does have a browser, which the regular Nook had. Google, of course, and also can do landscape mode. Um, the device is actually pretty, pretty fast for what it has. Um, I haven't had any problems. I can play music. You can do anything. There's no like lock screen, so you just hit the off button. Yes, hit the home, bring it back up. Um, I think that's pretty much it. But yes, yeah, the uh, nut color redone, way better. Oh, also, say if you want to still read books and you already have a Nook account and you have already registered and all that crap, so you bought books for Nook and you're like, how the heck am I supposed to read them now? Well, there's a Nook app. I haven't signed in yet because I'm not a big book reader. Come on. Then you can just sign in and get all your books there. And you still have your SD card slot. I, think I have a four gigabyte, four gigabyte in there, so you can store music, photos, anything you want. Um, let's go to the settings. There is no live wallpapers yet, which is good because that sucks the crap out of batteries and the performance goes down. But I mean, it's just stock settings, same as normal, except for the mod settings where you get like tablet tweaks. And if you want, you can overclock it. Just go to performance. Say warning, dragons ahead, blah, blah, blah. Just could mess up your tablet, who cares? Then just go to CPU settings and the max is 925, which see, get that zoomed in. The uh, max is supposed to be 800, but it's overclocked 925. There is a kernel you can put on, which will get you 1.1 gigahertz, which I have done, but I mean, you can't really tell that much difference between 925 and 1.1 gigahertz. This is the nut color. Redone. Yeah, and of course you can still do all your widgets and all that crap if you want. But, oh. The app drawer. Oh, I deleted that. Whoops. No, oh, it's there. So there's like a little dock here, and sometimes those will disappear. I accidentally moved one, so it's gone. And just tap that. There's all your apps. Yeah. And it also has Flash, so you can play. If you go to addictinggames.com, you can play all those if you'd like, also. Right. There is a nut color. Thank you for checking it out.